Hello guys and welcome to Freebirds You and welcome to 75 day hard generative AI learning channel and this is day 48. And in this video I will tell you how you can fine tune the Google Gemini large language models. Ok, so let's get started. As you know that Google released their large language models in various versions like it can Pro, Ultra with 2 billion parameters with 7 billion parameters as well. But how you can use those large language models for your own specific purpose by using fine tuning. Okay, so in this video, we can fine tune this Google Gemini uh, 2 billion parameter large language model with our quotes data set. We have a data set that contains the quotes with their authors as well. Okay, so let's start it. As you see, my this Kegel notebook is here. Okay, if you want to know about the Google Gemini architecture and its parameters, you can watch this uh, video as well and I will share the link of this uh, uh, Kegel notebook in my uh, YouTube video description and these are the like key features of this Gemini large language models okay it has enhanced contextual understanding it they are multi-model that means you can use it for the text images video audio and code as well and you can do anything it can transform anything into anything as well and in our further videos I can show you their multi-model capabilities as well where we can build a Gemini large language model that can convert your text to image and to image to video as well. Okay, so let's get started with the Google Gemini models. The very first thing I just hear the is to all the hugging face hub and then the transformers library along with some uh, required libraries as well. I al already explained about these libraries in my previous video. You can check out with that. Okay, then I just log into the hugging face hub because I need to get the a secret token from that to download this Google Gamma 2 billion parameter model. I upload the tokenizer here and then the model here and then as you see it is a Gamma model that is a Gemini 2 billion large language model. Okay and here I just like try to see that uh, how it works in the start. So where I just put put a prompt here the seven wonders of the world and then first I tokenize it and then I ask my model to generate a response and then based on that response I get the output and here you see the output is not according to our requirement because it, it generate a very large output and many repeated words as well okay because this model is not fine-tuned yet okay you need to fine-tune it for a particular task because currently it is a foundational model that means it is trained on a large set of data of text, video, audio, code as well. Okay, so for that, we just tried to fine tune it with, with the help of LORA technique. Okay, so for that, I load this data here and I load this large language model with LORA configuration. So, so that I load this model already in the quantized format. Okay, here is quantization configuration. And then I make this model with additional adapters so that I can fine tune it because now my models is already in the quantized format so I need to add some adapters to it so that those adapters can learn while doing the fine tuning. So here I just add those adapters with the help of PFT library here and these adapters are added into my model and then I get a adapter added model with the help of quantization as well. Okay, now this is my complete model that I use to fine tune. Okay, now I load my data set here that is the English quotes data set and I just tokenize it and then I build a formatting function so that at the end I only get a one single uh, dictionary here and that dictionary contain the quote along with the author. Okay, on this data I will fine tune my large language model okay and for that I get the SFT trainer and with the help of SFT trainer I build some training arguments the output directory and all the things that, that I need the learning rate number of approaches and the optimizer as well and then with the help of SFT trainer I passed my theft model along with the data training arguments configuration and the formatting function because my data is in this format that is required for the fine tuning and when I fine tune it, it trained it. You see the training loss become lesser and lesser as well with each training approach. If I just set here 4 or 5 then this loss will become more or less. Okay, then I just 
save this mo model as well and this mo model gets saved in my uh, this output directory here and then I load this saved large language model and their tokenizer and then try to uh, experiment with it and try to get the inference from it. As you, as you see, I just write here quote life is and now our large language model will try to complete it as it is completing here life is journey not at the destination. Okay, and then I just increase the token length here as well. Then it generates some more words as well. Okay, so you, you just need to experiment with this uh, token length. You can add here some other words like uh, do sample. And when you just add do sample, it will try to sample out your top responses. Okay, so, so that you will get the best response at the end. And in this whole process, we make this. 1.5 billion para parameters into 2.5 billion parameters because we fine-tuned it. We add more parameters to it. Okay, then it will learn from the codes. Okay, so in this way, you will uh, know that how you can fine-tune this Google Gemini Gamma large language models here. Okay, and in our next video, I will tell you how you can build the chatbots with this Google Gamma or Google Gemini large language models and in our further videos we also fine-tune this uh, Google Gemini large language models on uh, uh, Indian languages like uh, uh, Punjabi, Hindi, Telugu, Gujarati these kind of languages as well so that it can understand those languages as well and if you want to know more about prompt engineering, generative AI, large language models and many more things you can watch my YouTube videos and in my browser Medium We'll meet in our next video. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.